Hey there, it's another week, another recipe, and this month we are going to do a mini-series on old-fashioned Thanksgiving dishes. Today we're going to try to spice up the Thanksgiving dessert table with a very simple and delicious cranberry pie from 1927. Stick around, you're going to want to try this. Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Courtney Morris and I cook history's forgotten recipes out of random cookbooks that I find and today we are talking cranberries. But before I get to the shenanigans here, I want to say thank you so, so much. This channel has hit 100 subscribers, I think a little over 100 subscribers, and I could not be happier and more grateful for the support. I know those numbers are small as in YouTube terms, but for me, that's like teaching a seminar. That's a lot of people for me. So I appreciate your support. I hope you're having as much fun as I am. All right. Let's get into it. So it's November somehow. I don't know how that happened. I can't even remember what I did all of October, let alone the rest of the year, but now it's holiday season and that is my favorite season. So the next upcoming holiday is Thanksgiving, which has kind of lost its fire for me a little bit. And I know that that's one of those holidays where people look forward to it because we eat the same things every time. But for me, the same things every time has gotten a little bit old. And very long story short, when we moved up to the Pacific Northwest 13 years ago, for 10 of those, we didn't have any family up. It was just our little family. And so we just went out to eat and let everybody else do the dishes. Uh, but now that we've got family in town and coming up, uh, past couple of years, we've actually started doing a traditional Thanksgiving meal. Um, but truth be told, it kind of just gets old after the second day of leftovers. So. For the next couple weeks before Thanksgiving, I want to try some old-fashioned side dishes that might fire up Thanksgiving a little bit for me and see if I can come up with some new stuff for a Thanksgiving table. And who knows, some of these recipes might actually still be in use in your family or maybe in other parts of the country. I'm not really sure, but today we're going to be talking about cranberry pie. We know cranberry sauce, it's in a can. We know cranberry salad, which I think my grandma made a version of it that I didn't really like and it involved jello or something. It was from the 50s. I'm not entirely sure. But I found a recipe from 1927 in the United States Bureau of Home Economics radio show Housekeeper's Chat. I had done another video from the Housekeeper's Chat radio show for, I believe, the spring potato salad. And I'll link that up somewhere up here in the cards for you to go check out. The show Housekeeper's Chat, I don't know if some of you might remember this, seemed to be a short little segment and they had recipes and housekeeping tips. I was hoping to find some audio on it, but unfortunately I could just find the transcripts. But it gives me a recipe for cranberry pie. So let's give it a shot and see what 1927 Thanksgiving menu has to offer. So before we do anything with the cranberries, it does say I need a two pie crust recipe, or it just says pastry, but it's gonna need a top and a bottom. So I'm gonna quick make a pastry crust and then we'll get to stewing these. So for the pastry, I'm just gonna make my old fashioned pastry since this was just a radio show, they just did the cranberry pie and not the pie crust. So I've prepared my bottom crust. I'm gonna put this in and then trim it up. And then we will get to the berries. So now that our pie crust is done, we can get started with the cranberries. And it calls for one quart of cranberries and we have to pick out the rotten ones, which I just got the ocean spray packages of cranberries that Walmart had. And honestly, I feel like I've been picking out rotten ones more than there is good ones. So we shall see. Thankfully, I got more than I actually needed because I was trying to figure out which recipe I wanted to do or if I wanted to compare two of them. But since I decided on this, I'll have extras to do something with. Maybe I'll make a cranberry jam later or something. Okay, so now it's time to make a syrup that we will put the cranberries in, which will be our pie filling, which sounds really good and I'm really hoping this works. I don't think I've ever really had anything cranberry except for cranberry salad and jello, like I said before, for Thanksgiving. I don't feel like it's a very used fruit anymore. And it says to make a syrup out of the sugar, the water, and the salt. So it's two cups of sugar, half a cup of water, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And we need to cook that down till it's um, syrup consistency. I don't have a candy thermometer anymore. 
decided to put it through the dishwasher so it died. So thankfully I do know my, uh, <laughs> my manual temperatures, but thermometer would be nice. So let me know what, let me know in the comments what you guys do for Thanksgiving. Maybe you have some special traditions or different foods than what I end up having. So we need to cook this until the cranberries look glazed. And look at that syrup we have created. Okay, we're ready to put this into our pie crust, which I'm kind of excited about. The filling looks fantastic, and I'm hoping for the best on this. The one thing I am a little surprised about is I found so many recipes, like old, old recipes, going back to like the Georgian period, and, and the one thing that this one is missing is nutmeg and cinnamon. Like, they're just using sugar and the fruit. One thing I do love about these older recipes, and I've said it before in other videos, is the simplicity of it, of how little ingredients you can use to make something delightful. And honestly, the way things are going with this whole supply chain thing and not knowing whether or not I could have gotten cranberries or not, which actually was a fear of mine while I was at the store because I couldn't find them to save my life. You know, it's not a bad thing to know how to cook with like four ingredients. Okay. That looks lovely on its own, and honestly, I could bake that as a tart, and it would be fine, but it does say to use a top pie crust. Okay, so it's as decorated as it's gonna get. I think I... It's cute, but whatever. Okay, I do need to cut some air vents in here, so I'm gonna cut four. I almost don't like doing it because I feel like the juices just run under the top, but what do you do? All right, and I'm gonna brush this with some egg for a lovely finish because I am of the opinion if your food looks good, it's definitely gonna taste better, even if it's not great. If the presentation was terrible, it's not going to be very good. All right, this is my pie and it is ready to go in the oven and it just said bake till the crust is golden brown. So I'm going to err on my usual of 350 degrees Fahrenheit for until it's brown. All right, it is the moment of truth. This is finally cooled off and I am pretty excited about this. It smells so good. So we're going to cut into it and I think it turned out kind of pretty. Oh, flaky pie crust, but I'm biased on my pie crust recipe. I really am. Okay, oh, darn it, it's liquidy. Maybe it's not as cooled off as I thought it was. Bummer, I might need a bowl for this. Oh, it's just not cooled off enough, okay. Well, in the meantime, I'm gonna take some of the runny stuff Oh, yeah, that's definitely not cooled off. I should have left this another hour. Okay, let's give this a shot. Cranberries look beautiful. They look candied, and uh, it's really, really pretty. So let's give it a shot here. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, it's to be expected. It tastes like cranberry jelly. But the texture is lovely. It's almost like that cranberry sauce you get with the whole cranberries, but not white. A little nutmeg and a little whipped cream, or you know what, even better, vanilla ice cream. I think this could be a staple. Okay, so interior shot for you, pie crust aside, because I know it's already awesome. This interior looks fantastic. It, look at the, the, the cranberries are cooked perfectly. They almost look candied, and it it's gonna set up really nice. It's still too warm. As you can see, it's a little more liquidy than it normally would be, but uh, that was an error on my part for <laughs> cutting into it too soon because I always do that on fruit pies. I am gonna make this for Thanksgiving this year. I, I really, really like this. And it was easy, it was only a couple ingredients, and it still, it, it never ceases to amaze me, like I probably have said in other videos, that some of these simplest recipes Turn out the best. Oops, make a mess. Okay. 
I want to try something real quick. Hold on. Okay, I want to try this with a little bit of nutmeg and cinnamon. I know it might not be exactly the same as if I were to put it in the pie mixture, but I want to see if it makes it any different. Okay, just tiny little bits here. Maybe. holidays now. That's exciting. Okay, well I love, love, love this and I invite you to give this a try. I will leave a link to the recipe in the description box and I'll probably write it out for you since it's so small anyways. Do try this. This is phenomenal. I really, really like it. It's just tart enough. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much. Please hit the subscribe button, give it a like, and hit the little bell notification. I try to upload every Monday with a new experiment for you and so far, we're doing pretty good so far with the uh, end results of things. I'm really excited. If you have any Thanksgiving recipes that might be a little odd or old or just a family tradition, please send them over to me. I'd love to try them out or see what you guys do. It'd be so much fun. Again, thank you so much for 100 plus now subscribers. I really, really appreciate the support and I'm glad you like coming along the journey with me. If you're interested in seeing the other video I did out of the Housekeepers Chat radio program, go ahead and click over here. And otherwise, down here's a playlist of all my 1930s recipes. There's not a lot yet, but we'll look. We'll build them up as we go. All right, I will see you next Monday. Bye.